Hi guys and gals, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios and Xcart Guru. Well, I'll be here with a quick tip. Uh, you know, this might be obvious to some, but there's a way to, uh, you can add, uh, you know, custom pages into Xcart, and you can have them uh, show up either in the menu bar up here, or you can have them show up here in the footer. So it's really a nice feature, and it's a way you can expand, uh, you know, the content on your site quite easily. And I'm going to give you a quick uh, tutorial on how to do that. So here we are on the admin side of our Xcart 5 store, and I'm just going to go to Content, and then Pages. This is where we're going to add our new page. We're just going to click the New Page button, and it should take us to a screen to add the page. Okay, we're going to give it a name, and in this case it's just going to be About Us. Okay. Clean URL is going to be generated automatically. And uh, we can uncheck that box and we can put exactly what we want. About. Let's say about dash us. And it's going to prefix it uh, or, or postfix it dot HTML. Okay, now here we have the content. Now this is a what, what you see is what you get content editor. I'm not a fan of that at all. I'm just the type of person that likes to write my HTML myself. Um, I'm just not happy with, with the you know, amount of control that I get with this uh, content editor. So here we go. I'm clicking tool source code. So I'm not going to get complicated here. I just want to keep it simple. I'm just going to do like a heading, H2 tag, and uh, just put you know the name of the company. Uh, if I can learn to capitalize things. And then we'll just do a paragraph tag underneath that. Uh, we'll go ahead and close that. And we will just start up start our paragraph. Subthink Supply was founded in 2010. Oh, 19. <laughs> I'm having trouble typing today. All right. We'll just hit OK. And there's our, you know, preview of that. And we'll save it. Okay. And now we have, uh, you know, this target equals page ID equals three. That's our, our page ID. And we have the clean URL we know about dash us dot HTML. Okay, so now we want to add that to a menu. So I'm going to go to content menus. And we have two main menus, uh, the primary menu, the footer menu. Okay. And we're just going to do a new item. We'll put this in the primary menu at first. And this is the anchor text for the link. So this is how it's going to read uh, up at the top of the page. Let's just make it about us. And then we can put in the uh, either, either the uh, target question mark target equals page ID 3. Or we can just put in the actual uh, clean URL, which in this case is about us dot HTML. Okay. Let's save changes on that. And let's adjust the position. I want it right after the uh, right after the home. There we go. We'll save changes again. And now when we go to the front of the store and refresh, we've got our About Us link right here. Clicking it. Takes us to the right page, and there's our content that we added. All right. Now, while we're working on it, we might want to just turn it off by clicking this power icon. Now, and we'll save changes, and we'll disable it for now. And then if we wanted to enable it, obviously, we just click it and turn it on. I guess I should mention, too, that we can set up, uh, you know, different types of uh, visitors here. We have anonymous users only, or only for logged in members. So if you have something just for people that are logged in, you can easily, you know, control that right here. Uh, let's also just take a quick look at the footer menu. Let's say we wanted to add it here. It works the same way. You know, we'll just do about us. And this time we'll try the uh, question mark target equals page ID 3 and save that. And we'll go to the front end of the store, refresh. And down here in the footer, we now have the about us link. Okay, well, hey, that's all for today. Uh, once again, it's Mike White with XCard Guru and Baby Monkey Studios. I'm signing off and wishing you the best of luck in your e-commerce efforts. Thanks.